The Battle of Berdigalo was a battle of the Cimbrian War that occurred in the year 107 BC. The battle was fought between a combined Germanic-Celtic army including the Helvetian Tigurini under the command of Divico, and the forces of the Roman Republic under the command of Lucius Cassius Longinus, Lucius Caesoninus, and Gaius Populius Linus. Longinus and Caesoninus were killed in the action and the battle resulted in a victory for the combined tribes. Chapter 1 Context In 113 BC, the Germanic tribes of the Cimbri and the Teutons invaded Roman territory, defeating an army under the command of Gnaeus Papirius Carbo in Noricum at the Battle of Noia. The Germanic tribes demanded to be given the right to settle in Roman territory. When denied, the Germanic force marched all the way to Gallia Narbonensis where they defeated another Roman army under the command of Marcus Unius Silonus at an unknown location. It was thereafter that the Germans forged an alliance with the Tigurini tribe and Rome prepared for an invasion of the Lower Peninsula that did not come. Chapter 2 Prelude In 107 BC, the Roman Senate launched another campaign under Lucius Cassius Longinus, Lucius Caesoninus, and Gaius Populius Linus, to defend one of their allied tribes. At first, all went well for Rome. Just outside Tolosa, the combatants met and, despite the huge numbers of Germans and their allies, Longinus defeated them, and they retreated in disorder, leaving behind a large number of baggage wagons. Flushed with his success, Longinus followed them, but was reluctant to leave behind the captured baggage train, which slowed his army down significantly. Chapter 3 The Battle By the time he reached Berdigala, it was heavily fortified and the barbarians had been reinforced. Longinus made a camp on a defensible hilltop near Berdigala, and decided to attack the Epidum. He put the camp under the command of Populius Lenes and marched on Berdigala, but did so without tightening ranks or marching in squares. He apparently did not even bother to send out scouts. Near Berdigala, Longinus and his army were ambushed by the combined tribes. He was killed in the action along with 10,000 of his men. The remaining Roman forces were saved from the same fate by Linus, who was forced to surrender a majority of the army's supplies in return for permission to retire from the field under the yoke. Chapter 4 Aftermath When news of the Roman defeat reached the Gallic countryside, several towns rose in revolt including Toulouse. The following year, another consul, Quintus Suilius Scipio, marched on the rebellious Gallic forces and captured Toulouse, capturing the gold of Tolosa amongst other spoils. Much of these spoils vanished whilst being transferred to Massilia. In 105 BC, the Germanic forces and the Tigurini won a further victory against the Romans at the Battle of Arzio. Chapter 5 